What's up, guys? Marley B back here with 24-7 HH. Got some more King Bars for you. Brand new exclusive verse produced by the homie Show Enough. Make sure you guys check it out. Exclusive track. I haven't even recorded it yet, so this is like some real, real super secret stuff. You know what I'm saying? Produced by the homie Show Enough out of Tucson. Let's do it. I'm going to start like this. Yeah, better get up and make them moves. Not nobody gonna make them for you. So I pick up and lace my shoes. No, it's a beautiful day on the east of the city, the place where I'm laying my roots, growing and learning and changing my life. Yeah, that's all I'm for paying my dues. So tell me how it feel to be stuck in a circle I never will. Y'all get it? I never will. But I'm rolling my buddy, just keep it real. See, so for those bars there, I was basically kind of doing a double entendre about the wheel being in motion, but also not being stuck. I never will. It's about making those next moves and just keeping it pushing forward. You know what I'm saying? I'm from a place where the people get stuck and they never be leaving the city. They knock up a chicken. They said it was selling eight hours for fifteen fifty. Cool for you. But for me, yeah, I need a little bit more. You worry about the same old bullshit. While I'm out on tour, chat, take the shots, I'm not ducking shit, still smoking out in that bucket whip, making music they fucking with, now I'm doing shit on your bucket list, came from nothing, made it something, check my rep when you make assumptions, far from on, but I can make a jump into a random city, yeah, my name is Buzz. Pretty good for a dude coming out of the state that never make discussions, thinking that I got next, like I'm your favorite rapper's little baby cousin, huh? So for those bars, man, that was, that was directed at a lot of the people that I know from Tucson, man, that just kind of get stuck in that same circle of things. Just never really leave Tucson. Um, I didn't leave Tucson until I was like, you know, 18, 19. So for me to be out on the road and, you know, making moves, just hope to inspire some people to get, get out of that circle of the same monotonous thing that they do or whether it's, you know, they end up having kids or having responsibilities. I want them to still be able to go out and chase those dreams. And that's what that's about. So yeah, that, that verse right there, man, that's a, it's brand new um, track hasn't been put out. I actually haven't even recorded it yet. So it's super exclusive uh, produced by the homie Show Enough in Tucson. Basically, you're just talking about the struggles of being an independent rapper from a small city. You know, you got to you got to get out of your city. You know, it's home. I love being at home. I love my people in Tucson. But at the same time, you got to kind of make that move to make that next step into the industry. And that's kind of the point that I'm at in my career is where I'm going to take it next. So that verse is like real close to me right now. So it's real close to me. I'm at the point in my career where, you know, I'm, I'm born and raised in Tucson. That's where I got my following, where I built my fan base. But it's at the point where I got to make a jump. I got to make a jump to the next level and there's only so much you can do in a small city played every venue played you know opened up for damn near everybody that comes through so at this point i got to make a move into the next level and that's what that verse is really about i, I do right here and there into a notebook but for the most part i've kind of switched over to phones you know what i'm saying just for the easy access it's always in my pocket so anytime a, an idea or something comes up i just jot it down you know if i have like a concept or whether it's just a dope bar dope dope cadence you know um i always put that down in my phone um, and as far as like the creative process for this track, like this one's came super easy for me. I've been at a point in my life where I've like, I've been wanting to move, but at the same time, like I just love my city so much that I'm like, oh, can I move? You know what I'm saying? So I'm at that point and this one just kind of came right off, right off the, the tip of the pin. You know what I'm saying? The homie show enough made the beat. Um, I honestly still haven't wrote a second verse for it. So it's like, it's literally still in the works, but it's just something I thought that I could share with you guys. So I'm sure it'll be on an upcoming project. I'm still kind of pushing our last project. We did the Golden and Friends project with my label Golden Artist Group out of Tucson, Arizona. Um, features the big bro Jay Tilt, Cash Lansky, Mike Regal, Tommy Will, a bunch of dope cats. You guys should check that out. It's on Spotify, Google Play, uh, iTunes, all that good shit. And as far as right now, man, I'm just staying busy on the road. I'm out here with Dizzy Wright. That's why I'm out here in Chicago. And then we're going to hopefully hit overseas, go over to France, over to Paris, try to start tapping into that market. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's definitely needed for us. Uh, take it to the next, you know, worldwide rather than just USA. And I mean, if, if you guys want to keep taps with the music, man, MarleyB.com, uh, GoldenArtistGroup.BandCamp.com. You could buy all the albums. You could buy the merch, all that good shit. Yeah. At MarleyB underscore 520, man. Give me a follow. Shout out to 24-7-HH, man. It feels good to be back. King Bars.